Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. National People's Party NPP Vice President Priston Tinsong on Saturday condemned the arson that took place on Friday evening at HSPDP MLA Methodius Dakar's office in Lajimkra. Tinsong said such activities will not be entertained and the government will make efforts to ensure culprits are booked at the earliest. He also urged the people of Meghalaya to respect the decision taken by the Hill State People's Democratic Party's HSPDP representatives. HSPDP MLA's Methodius Dakar and Sakler Wajri have given the letter of support to the Conrad-led NPP to form the new government which also includes BJP and two independent MLAs. Moreover, he labelled two pressure groups, HITO and HYC, as the political wing of some political parties. It may be mentioned that the two pressure groups have been canvassing against the NPP party all over the Khasi Jayanti Hills region. Moving on, senior NPP legislator Timothy D. Shira was sworn in today as pro tem speaker of the Meghalaya Assembly in Raj Bhavan. Governor Pagu Chauhan administered Timothy D. Shira the oath of office and secrecy. He will conduct the works in the House till the appointment of a permanent speaker. The ruling NDPP, along with its ally BJP, which retained power in Nagaland for a second straight term, is likely to assume office on March 7. Party sources said the swearing-in ceremony of the chief minister and other ministers will be held in Kohima on March 7. The NDPP and BJP won 37 seats together in the 60-member assembly in Nagaland. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and several central BJP leaders and ministers are likely to attend the swearing-in ceremony. Outgoing Nagaland Chief Minister Nefio Rio, who on Friday was unanimously elected as the leader of the NDPP, PP Legislative Party submitted his resignation letter to the governor, L.A. Ganeshan, on Saturday. NDPP sources said that Rio is likely to stake his claim to form the next government on Monday after a meeting with Alliance partner BJP on Sunday. Prohibitory orders under Section 144 CRPC in Dhansiripar subdivision in Dimapur district and Long Leng town in Nagaland have been lifted following improvement in the law and order situation in these areas. Dimapur Commissioner of Police KV Thuto Sofi in an order on Saturday said the prohibitory order imposed in Dhansiri subdivision on February 24 has been revoked after he was satisfied that on conclusion of the conduct of Nagaland Assembly elections 2023, the law and order situation in the subdivision has improved and has returned to normalcy. President Draupadi Murmu on Saturday launched the Jal Shakti Abhiyan Catch the Rain 2023 campaign in New Delhi. The theme of the campaign is Source Sustainability for Drinking Water. Speaking at the event, the President said that water conservation and management are the most important issues for India as only 4% water resources are available in the country. Recognizing the roles of the women in water conservation and sanitation, the President conferred the Swachh Shujal Shakti Saman 2023 under various categories of the Swachh Bharat Mission Grameen, Jal Jeevan Mission and National water mission. Manish Sisodia, former Delhi Deputy Chief Minister, will be in CBI custody for at least two more days, a court ruled on Saturday. The Aam Admi Party leader, who was being probed over the now-scrapped Delhi liquor sales policy, had applied for bail and his request will now be considered Friday. Special Judge M.K. Nagpal directed the CBI to produce the Aam Admi Party leader before the court on Monday. The CBI had sought three more days of custody of Mr. Sisodia after producing him before the court at the end of his three-day remand granted earlier. Thank you for listening to Hub podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon Mitela. 